Hello, yeah, I am from Switzerland. Yeah, my name is Whitney. Yeah, is this even Switzerland? Like this outfit, or is this Swedish? Finnish? German? I don't know, I'm an American, they're all the same to me. School, school. Hello, I am from Switzerland. My name is Kara. We also live in Sweden because I'm Swedish. Yeah, a separate hockey. Arrested. I didn't just say that. What? Screw, screw. We finna just get into it. 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 I've never seen one episode. I've never seen any clips of this couple. All I know is that their name is Rosemary and Ed and things happen. Things happen. So we just finna get, get into, into it. it. Okay. It's normal to my family to take a wash together. <laughs> I can tell from this moment. I'm not even a minute in, and I can already tell that he does not like this country. <laughs> Where are they at? Are they in the Philippines? I'm assuming from a uh, the from her accent. I mean, I read up on it. She is from the Philippines, but I didn't want to make sure that's where they actually are. Instead of me just assuming that's where she is. <laughs> You know when you wash it all and you don't dry it off right away so it got that wet look? I'm not saying it's the same, but I'm not saying it's different either. I feel terrible. I don't even know this dude. He might be the sweetest dude on the planet. Let me stop. Uh, okay, what do we do? <laughs> The dad, I'm assuming that's her dad. The dad's like, sir, you not gonna make it. <laughs> you might as well go back to America because you not gonna we do we do a little bit different things around here. We got a different culture. We take baths together, dude. And it's always you need a bigger shower to get all between that dirt and crust between the non existent neck that you have. What is with this dude's neck? Does he have a condition of some sort? No neck is built like that. You're not born with a neck like that unless you have a condition. He may have one. I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice. This has to be the weirdest experience of my life. I've actually washed like that before. Uh, I have a story behind it. So we were going through a phase in our life where we didn't, we couldn't, uh, like our water was off for some reason. I don't know why, because we were paying the bill, but like they turned the water off for like a month or two. So that's how we had to wash. So I totally understand him saying it's a weird experience because it was for me, but like after a while I was like, this, this chill, this is pretty cool. But um, that's how they do it in different places. Like different places of the world, they may wash different than how you do it. They may not have an access two baths and or showers so they gotta make with the best that they can you know you get the best of both worlds even though your dick long and you look like a tone you know for the cookout what you pick up hot dogs and shit you that's what you look like why am i body shaming this man he probably don't even deserve it i'm being such a bitch i'm sorry i take all that back i don't even know who, who this dude is oh stop it oh my god ouch ouch nice i'm ed i'm 54 years old people know me as big ed I'm from San Diego, California, and I am a professional photographer. Oh my God, right there, right there, beautiful. That's perfect, oh my God. Why is he talking like that? Maybe because I'm not a professional photographer, so maybe he's giving you words of encouragement. Oh yeah, y'all right there, perfect. Y'all stand there, y'all, perfect, absolutely. It sounds like a fucking, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Is he what is he doing with that mayo? Is he about to make him a, a sandwich? I'm super excited because I also bought a ring. I mean, if he if he's making a sandwich, that's fine, but why he got this big ass spatula? And I plan to ask Rose to marry me. stomach hurts in your hair oh i needed that laugh oh i was having a bad day today oh i needed that thank you sir 
with a condiment you been dying your hair with your condiment because that's what i'm seeing right now i mean to each their own i suppose but like there's so many alternatives you could use to keep your hair more healthy and more fuller not no damn mayonnaise bro go to the beauty supply they got plenty of products go go to them i'm, I'm i guarantee since i met rose i i want to look young for this <laughs> look at this dude in this 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 freaking kimono oh this is funny as he i know he's gonna make fun of rose's country or place or whatnot and he's the same person that's putting mayonnaise in his hair that's so funny to me i can just tell that he thinks third world countries are terrible off the bat he loves america he thinks america is the best place to live so when he visits other places of the world he complains all the time don't go there then <laughs> and i really don't want to make fun of him but like this dude built like a lego i just Okay, he's trying to look young for his woman. I get that because his girlfriend is a little bit more younger. When I say a little bit, I mean a lot bit. Freaking 31 years, bitch. Good for you, big Ed. Good for you. You do that. You do that, boo. Hello, how are you? Nice to meet you. Maria. Uh, Very nice to meet you. Y'all know damn well. Y'all know good in hell well. Y'all know damn well the sister does not like him. She knows. She can just sense it. She can sense. You know how if you're a sibling and you got that, that sense where a partner isn't good for your sibling. She got it. I can sense it. Like a dog can sense a tsunami. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's very nice to meet you. What do you think of my home? What do you um, think? Well. <laughs> he hit you with the, well, you know, well, 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 well. He don't know what the hell to say because he don't like it. <laughs> He don't like it. <laughs> it ain't. It ain't up to. Can I have a kiss? Oh, I don't. I don't mean it. It's hurt on me. Ouch. Rose, 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 Rose. Let's talk, Rose. Rose, stop playing with me, Rose. Rosemary, stop playing with me. You know damn well you don't want to kiss him because you don't like him. Quit, quit fooling me. Y'all can't fool me. Y'all can't do it. She don't want to kiss him because she don't want to kiss him. But she can't say that because she don't want to hurt his feelings. She don't want him. She don't. I can just Like, I've read articles and I guess a lot of people are concluding that she's only with him because she needs the financial support of her and her son. Which I totally 100% agree with. She don't want you, bro. Come on now. Come on, buddy. Talking about he don't, you don't want to kiss because of that beard girl. You don't want to kiss him because of that neck. <laughs> I noticed that your legs were kind of like mine. <laughs> they were hairy. What? Yeah. So, I'll make you a deal. If you shave your legs, I'll shave my beard. Why? They shave my legs. Black like hair just seems kind of less feminine for a woman. So it, yeah, I don't, I don't like leg hair. It's gross. Well, you're not gonna like me. <laughs> I don't shave my armpits. I don't shave my legs. I don't even shave. Bitch, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, it's a, it's a deal for a deal though. She don't like his beard. He don't like her legs. If she shaves his legs, she gonna shave his beard. I mean. That don't seem too much for me personally, but like the way he said it, he he could have said that a thousand times more nicer. Speak English? Does anybody speak English? Oh my God. Pajamas, I think these are pajamas. The fact that Rose doesn't even have pajamas made me feel really sad. Bitch, they're pajamas. At least she has clothes on her back. What are you talking about? What? This is the old, this is very common where Americans try to do things for people from different countries to make them seem like they did something. When in reality, bitch, you didn't do shit. We, ooh, see, this, I don't like people like that. I don't like people who do the right things for the wrong reasons. Because that's exactly what he's doing because she didn't ask for no fucking pajamas. She didn't say, she didn't wake up in the middle of the night and say, ooh, you know what I would love? You know what I would really love? Some nice pair of pajamas. Now, if she said that to you by her son, then I'm like, oh, that's sweet. But like, she don't need no damn pajamas. Leave her alone. So there's a test that you can take. Yeah. You test me? 
No, yeah, a te it's a it's a test for um, for um, it, it, I don't know if you understand it's um, STD, which is um, I think it's a blood test. It's a blood test. You know what, it's 2020, I can't say anything. You know what? Okay, but do y'all notice that she has acne on her face now? I bet you a million dollars when she was in the Philippines on her own, she didn't have no sort of, she's in America, and she's she has to eat that diet and what they eat. She got, and he stressed her the hell out. She got acne now, I bet you a million dollars. I bet you she never had acne in her life up until that very day he's asking her about STD tests and shit. I'm disappointed. If you love somebody so damn much, you trust them so damn much, the last thing you should ask them is about a damn STD test. What does she need one for, might I ask? Like, is, did she, was she, was she fooling around before she met him? Even so, that's none of your concern. Like, if you trust me enough, and if you ask me, you know, have you ever committed any sexually transmitted disease? Not if I say no. If you don't trust me, then that means it's time for me to go. Because I'm like, okay, so it's obvious you don't trust me. You're not really, you're not looking for a relationship that's built on trust. So I'm going to just, I'm going to just, you know. Oh my God. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Fine. Are you real? Yeah, oh my god, you're so real. You're so beautiful. See, now that's cute. Why the hell did y'all not just film that and then just boop, that's the end of the show. Cuteness. Cuteness on the end. Because I don't care what he looks like. I don't care what she looks like. I don't care how he's built. Because he built like a, you know what he built like? You know what he built like? He built like, what is those things called? <gasps> a boneless chicken wing. <laughs> Ooh, hell is hot. I'm beyond, beyond elated. I'm, I'm so happy right now. Why didn't y'all just film them hugging and being excited to see each other and then say, next time on 90 Day Fiance, just leave it at that because everything else is some bullshit. Oh, uh, mm. She wrong for that. <laughs> Let me see. Are we the same? Little. Poquito. Poquito. Look, I couldn't, we couldn't, we couldn't fit. I'm 5'10", bitch. I'm fucking Salvatore the Stallion. See, why didn't, see, look, see, see, America be on some bullshit. Why didn't Ed just treat her like that always instead of being like, oh, your breast stinks or oh, your legs are hairy? Because there was a point in the, in this episode that he was actually really, really mean to her. She's not slow. She's not dumb. Her English may be off, but she's not dumb. You could, talk, you could obviously tell she's very intelligent. And her English bear got nothing to do with it. Unbook your room, okay? Okay. So this is after he asked her to take the STD test, just so y'all got a little bit of run in on what's going on. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Whatever it is, I'm sorry. Boom! Proceeds to slam head out of the car door. Stop! playing these games with me bro i know how people work i've been on earth long enough to know how bitches work i'm an aries bitch i know she don't like him i know she don't and usually i'm i'm all for you know people being in love from different countries older men fall in love with younger women uh older women falling for younger men I, that's not the problem here the problem is she don't like him at all and i think she maybe perhaps she's trying to get a green guard or maybe she's trying to give her son a better life i don't know but it's obvious like the connection here She's here, he's there. They not coming here anytime soon. You gave up that quick, bitch. You gave up after one little altercation. You were the one that asked about the damn STD test. Why are you upset? You bitches be some bitches, bro. That's all. This might even be taken out of context, but I'm sure plenty of y'all have seen the show. I haven't. I just gotta skim through it because I, I can't I, I can't watch stuff like that. Like 90 Day Fiance. Stuff like that. I don't watch stuff like that, like dating shows or um, competition shows are not my thing. So 
it took me a while for me to react to this, but this is, I hope Rose got the hell away from him because he, he seems like he's better than her just because he's American and I don't like that attitude. You're not better than nobody, especially when you built like a cocaine. And I hope you guys stay tuned for the next video because this one is not over. Talk to y'all later.